What's up, world? This is Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com here in sunny California and Carlsbad, California, which is beautiful. It's gorgeous. San Diego. It's gorgeous, America. I know you're having a great time too, because I love you. Well, anyways, to this out. Sweet picking. Uh, a lot of players love it. Some players hate it. Some players are interested in it, and that's where I come in. So I'm gonna try to give you a hand on learning what this whole thing is. Um, so obviously we're going to be showing both the fretting and the picking hand. Um, we're going to be, uh, basically it's just a couple of exercises uh, and um, major, uh, major chord forms or major arpeggios. With, with these examples, the root is always played, started with my pinky. So the on first, the A string. on the A string, it starts off with the fourth finger on the fifth fret. <laughs> the third finger on the fourth fret of D. On your G string, it's the second fret. On the B string, it's the third fret. On the E string, it's the second fret with your first finger. And the last but not least note, high E string on the fifth fret. So taking a very very slowly sounds something like this. Now moving that, we're going to go to F, the, the F position on the uh, A string, which is the eighth fret. Now slide the whole thing up to the 12th fret, and now you have an A major arpeggio. Now slide it up to the 15th fret, which is C, and same, same format, and you have C major. Okay. A good way to practice this is back and forth. So. Speed it up, uh, it, it can't sound like this, and I'll speed it up to, so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, a couple of things about the technique it's more of a glide over uh, the strings as opposed to like in and out or anything like that. There's no alternate anything until you get to the very end when you have the last note when you have to kind of turn it around. So, starting down, like a, it's one downstroke. Kind of use your palm to mute, um, as opposed to letting the strings. You want the strings to ring very shortly, very shortly in between. So, uh, by using your palm, just a little bit on the bridge. You don't have to slam it on the bridge. Just lightly rest it, um, as probably a lot of you guys already do. Um, <laughs> Techniques is to really practice slow. Um, doing something fast, you're doing it basically what you're doing slow, but it it has to be very very precise. Uh, one note has to bleed into the next. No string noise, and um, like a lot of times, you might even want to ride off the gain. A lot of the guys that really play warp speed hardly use any gain, and you hear everything. Um, as opposed to a lot of middle guys, we kind of use a little bit more gain than everybody else. Um, uh, 
when you're practicing this, stay in one position uh, at first till you get very comfortable with it. Um, like I said, start out about 80, sometimes even 60 beats per minute if you have a metronome, you know, and just really take your time. This, this type of uh, technique does not happen overnight. Um, a lot of times uh, when you're practicing this, the easiest way to, to, to not get overwhelmed is just look at it as, an, as you know, taking on each exercise to where it gets comfortable enough to where you can actually throw it in with your own playing. Little note, um, guys like uh, Niccolo uh, Paganini wrote the Caprices. Um, uh, if you guys are really, really wanting to, to excel at something, you might want to check those out as well. That's uh, super advanced stuff, but uh, uh, it's some good stuff. If you are uh, kind of curious about who else does that type of stuff, there are guys like uh, Yngwie Malmsteen, Michael o, uh, or, or Michelangelo, uh, Rusty Cooley, uh, a, a cat uh, back out of Houston, um, uh, and uh, John McLaughlin and so forth. Uh, there, there are a lot of guys that use it still to this day, and um, it definitely will spice up your playing. Uh, where, uh, whereas uh, you know maybe a traditional blues type thing is not going to do it. You want to kind of get the little flash and pizzazz, uh, throw down some sweet picking, and uh, you might sweep up the chicks. No, <laughs> no. Like I said, keep practicing and start off slow. Start off between uh, between 60 and 80 beats per minute, uh, and gradually bring it up. You know. Um, if you can hit up to like 180 beats per minute uh, and keeping it clean and, and going from one thing to the other, then it's time for you to move on to the next exercise. Um, just uh, the only way to actually uh, to, to, to do this is to actually be very patient and uh, to be methodical when it comes to practice. This has been Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com, and uh, we, they've check out the website. I've got hundreds of videos for you to learn from, man, and you know we can all learn and uh, always progress, man. Till next time, man. We'll be catching you later, man. Bye.